OK, so Amazon have recently launched their second generations of 4K Fire Sticks. That's the 4K Max second generation and the 4K second generation. This video is going to look at why you shouldn't really be looking at these. We're going to look at users that have purchased these and what they've found in terms of problems and also how they've overcome them. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm not going to be upgrading just yet. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to look into the pitfalls of buying the current second generations of 4K Fire Sticks. That's the second generation 4K Max and the second generation 4K Stick. Now, the, the second generation 4K Stick is really no different, to be quite honest with you to the first generation. You've got AV1 support, you've got half a gigabyte of extra memory and you've got Wi-Fi 6 support, but that's about it. Nothing really to write home about. With the Fire TV Stick 4K Max second generation, you've got a little bit more there because you have got 16 gigabytes of storage. That is the biggest crowd puller. It's the biggest storage fire in terms of fire sticks. It's the biggest amount of storage that fire sticks have ever had. So it's double the normal standard eight gigabytes. So that is a great pull. But plenty of users have now had chance to test it and they've found they've had problems. Now, one of the biggest problems is that it's now using a a new Fire OS. Now, Fire OS 8 is the latest version of their Fire OS for the second generation 4K and 4K Max sticks. This is based on Android 11. And as always, there's bound to be some teething troubles with them. Now, one of the things is many users have noticed that side loaded apps most of them don't seem to have icons. So it makes it difficult for you to find out what app is what. Now, if you've got the enhanced remote control with the second generation 4K Max, then you'll have a recents button on it. So push that recents button and then it will tell you the apps that you've recently been into. And thankfully, in the top left hand corner of the screen, when you've highlighted one of those broken icons, it will actually tell you the name of the app. As you can see here, it tells me that I've hovered over TV Bro, the TV web browser. So that gives me an idea of what app I've selected. Now, this problem occurred on previous generations of Fire OS. I think when the 4K Max first came out or when Fire OS 7 first came out, this was a pretty widespread problem, but Amazon did eventually fix it. So hopefully they're going to do the same under Fire OS 8. Another issue that one user has pointed out in one of the forums is that mouse toggle doesn't work under Fire OS 8. I've been unable to test this because I don't have a, a newer stick at the moment. Unfortunately, they've still not been released here in the UK. But if it doesn't work, then your only other option is to buy an OTG cable and a wireless mouse and keyboard or just a wireless or even a wired mouse. But I've bought one of these. I've bought an integrated keyboard and touchpad, which is great because it means not only can I use the mouse without mouse toggle, but if I do need the keyboard and I want to type something quickly, I can do it a heck of a lot quicker on this keyboard than I can on the on-screen keyboard. So something worth getting. If you're looking for an OTG cable, there's a link for it in the description down below. And if you're looking for this keyboard, then have a look for these Logitech keyboards. They are absolutely fantastic. Like I say, so a wired keyboard, or sorry, a wired mouse would still work. But if you get a wireless integrated keyboard and mouse with an OTG cable, because there's only one USB socket on the OTG cable, you can use them both at once. 
And next up, this is something else that a lot of users have complained about. The menu that comes up when you press and hold the home button on the remote control no longer has the apps icon in it. It has been replaced with the ambient experience icon, which takes you to this lovely picture that goes to your screen. But it obviously means it's much harder to get to your apps. Or is it? Well, you have got an option here. You can go across to this icon just over here by the settings cog, middle button once you've highlighted it, and then your apps and channels will then appear. Another option is, is if you go to the app store, so go to the magnifying glass, go down, middle button on the remote control and just type apps, that's A double P, S and then go down to it just down there, highlight it, middle button, and then you're looking for this app here, the gray and white app just next to downloader. Highlight that, middle button, and then middle button again to download it. And then what we can do is once it's downloaded and installed, we can actually go back to the home screen. And if we go back to our apps just over here, middle button, find the apps just there press the three horizontal lines on the remote control and then go down to move to front middle button. And then if I go back to the home screen, we should see now, there we go. We've got the apps icon just there. And if we go into that, that will take us straight into our app screen. So that's a temporary fix for the moment. Hopefully, hopefully in time, Amazon will backtrack on that and put the apps button back in the uh, in the home menu, or they might even add it back and include ambient experience and apps. Now that seems to be obviously on the 4K Max second generation only as the 4K second generation doesn't have ambient experience. So what's the other reason why I'm holding off buying? And this is the main reason at the moment, cost. Obviously round the corner, we have got Black Friday. So if you can hold off till the last Friday of November, then you will probably find, as in previous traditions, that the Fire TV sticks and Fire TV cubes come down in price. And they're likely to come down again over the Christmas holiday period too. So if you can hold off for a little while, then it's well worth doing so. Let them iron out the bugs. Let them let other people do the testing for you. That's what I always say. Never buy anything straight away. So if you can hold off for a little while, wait until they go cheaper. They're often cheaper at several times in the year. Like I say, the next time that I think they'll go cheaper will be Black Friday, the last Friday of the month in November. And they're likely to go down in price again, probably over the Christmas holiday period. And then again, probably early next year, they'll go back down in price again. So there we are. If you've got one of these new sticks, let us know of any problems that you've had with it in the comments down below. It would be good to let other users know what else perhaps isn't working on the Fire Stick. Obviously, let us know if something's working great, if there's something that's really impressed you with the 4K Max or 4K second generation sticks, then please let us know. It would be good to know. And I hope you like this video. And if you did, please consider helping this channel. Have a look down below in the description. We've got loads of links down there. If you're looking for a new Fire TV stick or you're looking for Fire TV accessories or you're looking to subscribe to a VPN, then please consider using those links down below as it really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and creating these videos for you. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here for you right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And also, if you haven't done it already, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching.